is the new single from Hawks and Doves, Bulletproof Hearts, off their new album, From a White Hotel. And joining us now is Casey Anderson, the front man for Hawks and Doves. So thank you so much for coming back to the show. Thanks for having me back. I didn't realize it had been like eight, seven, eight months. We talked to you in January, Yeah, right? it came on in January, and I think played Bulletproof Hearts. Yes when it was still in its infancy. We were so ahead of the trends, okay? <laughs> so now it's a single, all exciting. And last time we talked to you, you were getting ready to release your new album from a white hotel, which just came out a few weeks ago. Now you're getting back from a national tour and you're married. A lot has changed for you. Congratulations. A lot has changed, yeah. <laughs> Everything that has happened was like in its infancy yes. the last time I was here. I was engaged. We had just finished tracking the record and we're trying to figure out when it was going to come out. And I was thinking about maybe going on tour someday. Yes. And you did it all. I did it all. I took, knocked it all out in a month. How has the album been received so far? Uh, really, really well as far as I can tell. It's been really a cool surprise. I had no idea. It had been, like we talked about the last time I was here, it had been seven, six, seven years since I put out a record, so I had wow. no idea if there was going to be an audience and if there was an audience, what they were going to think about it, but it's been such a cool, pleasant surprise. Well, and of course, you would hope you'd have a Portland audience who loves you, but now... Rolling Stone even just named Hawks and Doves a band you should know yeah, that two was days really ago. Cool. That was really cool. Holy moly. That, yeah. that must feel great. It, yeah, that's a good word for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think I could put it better. That was a really cool thing. We were all super excited about it, yeah. What did you feel when you, how did you find out about it, I guess? Uh, actually, the gentleman, Robert, who wrote the, the little piece on us, reached out to me and said, hey, I need to talk to you in a couple of days. And we have, I, I've known him for a while, so I thought it was just like, Oh, okay. I was like, okay, well, I have some time. I was on the road. I was like, I have some time tomorrow to chat. And he was like, well, it's for a thing for Rolling Stone. And I was like, oh, I have any, whenever you need to get a hold of me, then yeah. I can mm -hmm. be available. Yes, yes. <laughs> so it was cool. And then I immediately told the band and our little text message thread was filled with happy face emojis. Oh, of course. Yeah. All that. Some hard eyes, some like <laughs> streamers, celebration. So tomorrow night, there's a show. What can we expect for that? From that? Uh, tomorrow night at Secret Society Ballroom, we've got... The band, which is myself, Jordan Richter, Ben Lansford, and Jesse Moffat. And then uh, we brought in a couple other folks, a couple surprise guests to play with us and flesh out the sound. So it should, there's plenty on tap. Excellent. What song are you going to play for us now? I'm going to play a song called The Dangerous Ones. Excellent. Casey Anderson of Hawks and Doves, take it away. Thank you.
can curse, you can cry, you can scream yourself to sleep every night, you can open up your eyes, take a look outside. Every wall is gonna crumble Every tower's gonna fall The earth is gonna rumble The siren's gonna call So you better look alive, alive Read the black, not the white Forget the reds and blues Quit looking for a way out Start looking for a way through Well, the shot's been fired But the war ain't won These white boys with money Better learn how to run The wall hit your back The blood's on your tongue